Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnative, speaking to Mallory James Mahoney about season six of Bunked, learning the ropes on Disney Channel. Welcome to the show. Thanks so much for being here having me i'm so happy to be here i'm excited to chat with you i think this is really cool because bunk's been around bunk's been a show for six seasons and i find you like the when the first season of bunk was interesting because it was a spin-off right of jesse which i thought was really cool so joining like right away is a unique experience you joined the cast like a couple of seasons into bunk to the spin-off that's pretty cool to think about too right that's an, a unique situation Absolutely. It's definitely, I mean, I feel like the show's been on forever because also it came from another show. So if you had it all, <laughs> kind of crazy. Um, but coming into it, everyone was really great. I love everyone on the show and they all just treated me like family right away, which was amazing to have. And it really, I think of them like my second family. So oh, absolutely. Is it, a, is it a cool and overwhelming mindset knowing you're joining a show where the universe in some way is already established? Absolutely. Um, the only TV projects I'd ever done before that was pilots and none of them ever went to air. So then I book this part and I'm like, oh, this is actually going to be on TV. Like it was definitely a little stressful, but really exciting too at the same time. Lots of mixed emotions, but it's been really fun. It's been fun. It's been stressful. It's been exciting to me. Destiny, there's a lot happening right now. Camper, mm -hmm. counselor, learning the robe, season six. What can you tell me specifically about season six? Well, season six changes a lot from what we know of past Camp Kikiwaka. We're no longer in Maine. We are now in Dusty Tush, Wyoming at our new Kikiwaka Ranch. Um, there's lots of changes even for my character. She used to be a camper. Now she's a counselor, has her own little camper to take care of Winnie, one of our new characters. But there's definitely been lots of changes. We're all learning how to be ranchers and learn the rancher's way of life. <laughs> Does it feel like a new character in some ways because the, she's a counselor now, or is it still destiny in your opinion? <laughs> uh, I mean, it's a little bit of both. There yep. definitely have lots of big changes for her. Um, one of actually the biggest like things that's changed about her is actually my hair. Um, <laughs> yes, that's right. I used to have I used to wear my natural curly ringlets on the show, and it's cool because like. Destiny grew up at Camp Kihiwaka, and at the same time, I started when I was 12 years old. I'm 17 now, so I've grown up on the show, yes. and the different personality changes, how I wear my hair, whatever, all these different changes that I've gone through, I've got to have, like, they've written it in where Destiny gets to go through these changes, too. So it's really nice, because we've grown up together, really. How far in advance did you, like, find out about the like the growth and the change of the character for season six? Like, were you aware of this a while? Was it kind of like a last minute thing? Like, what, what about that a little um, bit? <laughs> it wasn't super last minute, okay. but it's something I have been, like, all of season four and five. I was kind of hoping something yeah. like this would get a little more responsibility because she has been on the show for years. So I thought it would be cool to watch her grow up a little more and um, be treated as an older girl on the show. So it's really nice. But yeah, I've known about it for once we kind of figured out the new season was coming. When So, you know, it's interesting because, you know, first five seasons of Bunked have this really cool thing where, you know, Disney Channel fans that like Jesse came and watched Bunked and then there were new fans of just Bunked. So you had that cool thing. Now we have season six, Learning the Ropes. You're going to have the Jesse fans the season one to five bunk fans and maybe some new fans who enjoy, you know, horseback riding and Western. Have you thought about that? That's pretty cool too. Yeah. I mean, it's really cool. Cause we, with our show, it changes so much. And so we get to bring in all different types of generations. Um, I have college kids who like will reach out to me on social media and say they love watching our show when they get homesick. And then you also have like little siblings who grow up watching it with their older kid with older kids. And it works for the whole family, which is really nice. So Absolutely. we have tons of ages. It's crazy. What I find very interesting is it is one of the, it's one of like, Disney Channel's kind of go-to flagship shows. Like people love it. People go back and watch on Disney Plus as well. 
Was there a point in time, whether it was like season four or five, like whether it was someone told you something or you read something or a producer told you, when did it start kind of sinking in like, wow, like I'm part of something pretty big and special all around the world of Bunked? Um, honestly, probably in season three. Season three, yeah. Because it was already like such a big show when I went into it. So kind of starting going into that, it is definitely a little bit nerve wracking because I'm like, I've never done this before. But it, yeah, it really kind of sunk in of like, wow, this is this is big. Like tons of people see this. Um, but it's really exciting and it's really fun being able to reach to all these different audiences. Absolutely. The show kind of gets released in the traditional way every week. A new episode comes out and you can hype it and yep. everything. No, no, no. There, I know it's pretty crazy. Um there are two ways we're watching shows now, though, right, Mallory? We're, we're like, binging them, and we're watching them week to week. I like both. What do we like use? Both. <laughs> both. Um, I might prefer binging because it's it's really nice just to watch it all at once. Um, but I like both. I like still the classic just watching a new episode every week is fun. I think there's a place for both. Some people don't agree. Like, there's some people that just like binging. Yes. So I feel like there's there's some people that just want it all. But yeah, certain shows, it depends on everything. In terms of acting and storytelling, what is your favorite thing about that? Like, doing that, being a storyteller, being an actor. Is there something that you like the most about that specifically? I love getting to, like, play a different person and create this whole new personality. Um, I'm a bit of an introvert, so that's always kind of been my way that I love acting is because it's creating this whole new person. It's not myself. It's someone yeah. else. I've just worked to build and find who out, who I think this person is and how they do all of their regular everyday interactions. Oh, absolutely. It's so funny. I interview cause I asked that question a lot on my show, Mallory. And so and I asked um, an actor once about that, like storytelling. And he was saying he went to his friend's, um, kid's birthday party and a 10 year old came up to him and said like what do you do like for a living or anything and he's an actor right he's like I play pretend for a living and it's kind of like <laughs> that's what it is basically it's true, yeah. <laughs> we don't think about it that way but it 100% is Disney Channel's always been around you know Disney Channel original movies you know hit after hit um, the TV shows and everything what can you tell me specifically about how it feels to be part of the Disney Channel family for a show for over like a couple of seasons now specifically. Um, the Disney Channel family is amazing. Uh, everyone, like we all get along really well. I love when we have events where we get to like hang out with the other shows. We haven't gotten too many since COVID, but yes. before it was so much fun. Um, when we just get to be together and be kids, we all live this kind of weird life, but we get to just be kids when we're together, which is nice. And there's sometimes like crossover events between shows. Yes. Which is awesome. <laughs> yeah. That, uh, season four, we had our crossover with Raven's Home and that was really cool. And that was something too that you were all hoping was going to happen too. Yeah, it's That's definitely one of those like retro Disney things um, <laughs> where I remember watching that on shows when I was younger. So it's really cool that we got to like bring that back and do some of those. A lot of like Disney Channel like clips will like come back and resurface on Facebook and YouTube and TikTok of like old shows. Yeah. There's been a lot of like Sweet Life and Zack and Cody. Yes. Like a lot. And like Mr. Mosby was a great character. <laughs> Amazing. He actually has directed episodes for us, and I love Phil Lewis. Phil, he, Phil has directed episodes of Bunked? Yes, he has. He's even directed some this season. Do you ever talk to him about, like, how big it's actually become? Like, it's pretty crazy. Like, Mr. Mosby's a fan favorite. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Mosby. I grew up with Mr. Mosby. <laughs> <laughs> Which so is it's great. It's, it's pretty crazy. Like, But I feel like it's one of those things, too, where... I don't, sometimes you never know, right? Like you, you, especially you said, you know, you joined like bunk, you did some pilots, you joined bunked and everything, you know, what's going to be, but sometimes you don't really know. I mean, it's new characters joining bunk. You never like, you can never tell what the reception's going to be like. Right. Absolutely. Um, it's when you're coming in as a brand new character, especially kind of when I joined, it had been all the same cast for the past two years. So they hadn't really done any big changes. So it was a little bit nervous for that because, like, are people going to like my character? Is she going to fit well with the other characters? Yep. All these things that you think through. Um, 
but now we've been changing it a ton and everyone's been working and we all click really well, which is super nice. And it was like a big deal too. Like I remember like it was like, because you three of you got added to the cast. It was yep. like you, Will, and Raphael. So it was like a big like hype, like three new cast members to buck, not yes. one, three. <laughs> Which is so great. Um, we've interviewed Will on the show before as well. Oh, really? Which is awesome. Yeah, for like season four of Bunked. Like this was a couple years ago. But oh, yeah, uh, yeah awesome. no, he was telling me about there was sometimes a lot of pranks on set, some late nights. You got to you gotta tell me. Like I've, any pranks or anything funny that you could share for season six specifically that happened while filming? Well, we definitely like to joke, joke around a lot. Um we don't have any pranks per se, but we always like we go play games together. We actually we have a foosball table that's in yeah. our mess hall this year. Between every take that we have in the mess hall, we're over there having foosball. Are there tournament. have you done anything like have you done anything official like a tournament or anything? Um, not official tournaments, but there's definitely <laughs> unofficial ones every single day. <laughs> Could you imagine if like an official tournament like yeah. broke out on the ca- on the set of bunk and it's like in between takes, people are like rushing back for their match? <laughs> Honestly, by the end of the season, I bet we'll have that. We also we have a basketball court we go and play. Um, we do all sorts of things. I want all your cast members and the showrunners and directors to see this interview and be like, I think you're onto something. Maybe we're gonna have. <laughs> official bunk foosball tournament yeah it'd be amazing <laughs> absolutely Mallory this was so much fun thanks so much for coming on Pop Alternative. thank you so much this was so much fun new episodes are gonna be you said Wednesdays uh, Fridays. Sorry, Fridays on Disney Channel, Bunked, Learning the Ropes, which is awesome. And uh, people can keep up to date with, with content and everything. You have an Instagram account, right? Yes, I do. Mallory James Mahoney. <laughs> Amazing. Well, this has been Pop Turner of YouTube.com slash Pop Turner for previous episodes. Until next time, this is Mallory James Mahoney, who plays Destiny in Season 6 of Bunked, Learning the Ropes on Disney Channel. And PD Beats, signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turner Diff. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.